Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I will be reviewing a foundation which is recently launched in India. Guess what? This is the Wet and Wild Photofocus Stick Foundation. Previously, I used the Wet and Wild Photofocus uh, Liquid Foundation, which formula I didn't like as it was too drying for my dry skin. I also used the Cushion Foundation, which formula I actually love because uh, its formula was very hydrating. So this foundation retails for rupees six hundred and fifty, and you are getting twelve grams of product in it. I bought it from Mindra when a sale was going on and I got a 50% discount. So they have just launched 5 shades in India and I am in the shade Golden Honey in this foundation. So this uh, shade is tad bit lighter than my skin tone but uh, I am very happy with this shade because uh, I think that finally I have found a Vitamin foundation which has proper yellow undertone in it. I will also give you the shade references of my other foundations in the description box below. Coming to its packaging, it has plastic packaging which is neither classy nor flimsy. But I doubt that if you give pressure, its cap might break down. So be very careful. It is a retractable foundation stick. Its size is small and compact, so you can easily carry it with you everywhere. It is written on their website that easy to use high coverage foundation stick that conceals perfects and even out the complexion. Stick foundations are always easy to use. Just apply it, blend it, and you are good to go. It is not a high coverage foundation, but it is a medium coverage foundation. Definitely, you can build it up, but still, it won't give you high or full coverage. If you have very stubborn acne marks or hyperpigmentation, then you have to use a separate concealer with it. If you layer it up, it won't look cakey on you, but uh, if you overdo, then it might look. The next point which is written there is, the lightweight formula blends seamlessly and gives you a flawless semi-matte finish. It is definitely lightweight. I wore it throughout the day and I didn't feel that something was on. It is hydrating, it will give you a semi-matte finish, but the finish is not as dewy as the cushion foundation. I love this formula as I have very dry skin in winter, but the girls with oily skin may not like this foundation, especially in summer. Although this foundation is very hydrating, still when I was applying it, I feel that it was tugging and pulling my skin a little bit. Blending was very easy, I used both brush and sponge but I would suggest you to blend this foundation with the help of a brush because I feel that it was easier. I tested this foundation with primer without primer. Finish wise I didn't saw much difference even the lasting power didn't vary much. So if you don't like to wear primer you can easily skip it. I also took a flashback test it didn't flash back. Now coming to its lasting power. Oh, guys, I am shocked. Now I am going to show you that how it was looking on my skin after 8 hours of application. So this is how my foundation was looking after 8 hours of application. You can see that it has creased in my smile lines. Almost every foundation does so. It has rubbed off from my chin area. You can easily see my pigmentation around my mouth. But overall my foundation was looking so good on me. My highlighter, my blush, everything was in place. Just little bit oil was seeping through my pores. But the foundation wasn't separated out. 
even it didn't oxidize on me. So is this foundation texture skin approved? Definitely is. Because it blurred out my pores to some extent, it didn't emphasize the appearance of my skin texture. But I feel that uh, it may clog your pores and it has different kind of oils infused in it. So it is a semi matte finish, hydrating, long wearing, medium coverage foundation which is ideal for everyday use. But I don't suggest you to use it every day if you have acne prone skin or your skin has a tendency of being clogged. But from my side, I am just in love with this foundation. So guys, hope this review was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any query regarding this foundation, let me know in the comment section below. See you in my next video. Take care.